LiveFiction.net. Because following our daydreams is all that really matters. Dad, they walk past me and I can see their sadness. And it reminds me of broken rainbows. Their color is straightening out. Their smile is sharp like scary streets. I thought the dolls got happier the older they got. Maybe only children know where the magic is and how to use it. But it only works if it's shared. It can't be kept alone. It can't be hidden in the shadows. We are made of light. We are gentle. We are so much more fragile than we like people to know. I see the sun when they laugh. I feel the wind when they cry. But when they're angry, I just get scared. I have so much love to give. I just want them to see it. I just want them to want it. Maybe one day they will. But there is hope. Hope for everyone. Time could be our friend, not our regret. But we must follow our dreams, pursue our passions at all costs. Because only in this action can we discover who we are. Adults tell us kids that we should chase our wildest dreams and that they can all come true. But when I ask these same adults, what is your dream? They say it's not practical as an adult and that they have bills to pay. But how am I supposed to know what it looks like then to go after a dream if you don't show me how? Maybe your practicality is really your fear. I believe in you. I believe in your dream. I'll hold it carefully when you fall into moments of doubt. It'll make it so much easier if we were all going after something we can do it together. We don't have to do it alone. I don't want to do it alone. I don't want you to do it alone. We are supposed to do it together. together.